I've got to say massive thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Well, that screwed up. <laughs> I did about 25 minutes of talking in front of the camera. Just gone to edit it and realized that the initial five minutes is all out of focus. This video is quite simple. It's just to kind of let you guys know where I'm at, but also just say a massive, massive thank you to all of you who have been supporting the channel. We've just recently got to 10,000 subscribers, which is a massive, massive milestone. Never, honestly, never thought, never thought we'd get that far. So I've just got to say a massive thanks to all of you old subscribers who've been with me for a long time, all of you new subscribers who are getting on board. I just appreciate it so much. So just, yeah, just thank you. Now I do definitely want to do a 10,000 subscriber challenge at some point. I have had some really cool suggestions, some really weird suggestions, I'm not gonna lie, but I do wanna do something a little bit crazy, so the weird is kinda good. Um, if you've got any ideas, leave them in the comment section below or message me on Instagram, um, but I'm not gonna be doing it just yet because <laughs> I don't wanna do anything that's gonna be detrimental to next weekend's race, which is Outlaw Holcomb, because that's another big race, another chance to get the pro license. So um, yeah, I don't wanna do anything stupid before then, but I think I've got a little bit of time after Holcomb before my next race where hopefully I can do a subscriber challenge. That also gives us enough time to have a little think about what I could do. So yeah, by all means, leave some ideas in the comment section below. I'd love to read your ideas. Um, oh God, it's gonna be some weird things, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> now that's all the positive news out of the way. And I think this title of the video is probably gonna be something along the lines of 10,000 subscribers and a big problem. Now, I've been relatively quiet about this issue um, and now's the time to really just, just talk about it and face it head on, basically. Um, for those of you that have been subscribed for a while, you know I've been struggling with a back issue for the last couple of years. And I've really been quite quiet recently um, because I haven't really been racing up until the last few months. And I didn't really think it was as big of an issue as it now it seems to be, if that makes any kind of sense. So a couple of years ago, got a really bad back issue, saw loads of physios, had an MRI scan, nothing came back. Everyone was giving me really weird advice and nothing really stuck and end up ended up going down like loads of different rabbit holes. Nothing really kind of gained traction, nothing really was helping, so I ended up getting really frustrated and because there was no racing, I almost just lost interest and I was like, well, if I'm not racing, like I can still manage and I can still train. Like it's just a bit uncomfortable. So I'm just going to just deal with it as best I can and grit my teeth. And now I've come to realize like I've almost been a bit like <sighs> a bit delusional. I've almost been a bit in denial about it. Like the fact that I've got this injury um, and it's only really the last few races that I've realized actually this is a problem. Like I need to sort this out. I can't just keep going through my life pretending that I can just grit my teeth and and accept that, you know, it's gonna hurt. Like, that's just not okay, I shouldn't have to deal with that. So, this is the problem, I've got the back issue, it's still here, it still sucks, and I'm trying to do my best to get back on track and to get it fixed. The reason why I'm talking about this now is because the last few races, like, it, it definitely hurt quite a lot. Had to grit my teeth and suck it up. First race at uh, Cotswolds of 51.5, I was like, oh man, my, my back issue, like, it's coming back, like, oh my god, like, maybe it's just a fluke, and then at Eton, I was like, nope, it's, it's definitely there still, and then at um, Nottingham, I was really worried, because it was a big race, and it was a big distance, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to finish the race, um, but just gritted my teeth, there was loads, there were loads going on, um, so lots to take my mind off the situation, um, and other things went wrong in the race, so it wasn't, it wasn't just the back that was an issue, but the reason why I'm talking about this now is because, you know, at Nottingham, I was less than a minute away from the podium. And in my eyes, like, yeah, it was still a good, it was still a good result. In my eyes, a lot of things went wrong and I still had this back issue. So if I can get that close to the podium with all these problems, damn, like that's, that's so much motivation to get this back issue fixed because then what are the results gonna be like if I don't have a back injury and if everything goes right? Like, damn, like that's, that's motivation for me to really get fixed because 
If not now, when do I sort it out? So this is my plan now, really hit it head on, do everything I can to resolve this issue. I'm seeing some really good specialists and I'm gonna basically document everything on the channel, keep you guys up to date. And I'm pretty sure I can go back to the old clip now and explain a little bit further because uh, hopefully it will be in focus. So I'll see you back there. So um, I went to see a guy called Stephen Haynes this morning, shockwave therapy on me this morning, which one of the most painful things I've ever had done to me. Um, and then worked a bit on my core, did some exercises with him and has really helped out a lot. And basically he's, from, from my understanding, he thinks the issue comes from my right foot. And basically my right foot has a slight collapse on the arch and that leads to a slight dip my right side and the left side is where my back pain kind of originates from and so we're really focusing on that right side and actually after seeing him things just feel a whole load better and then they gradually go back to, to where they were so i'm going to see him more often now i'm going to be documenting the journey through the channel and showing you guys the progression that i make i'm seeing him after Holcomb and we're gonna potentially do some custom insoles for my running shoes and for my cycling shoes, just so it gives me a little bit more support. Um, we're gonna be running through some strength work. I've got a strength program from my good friend, Scott Sharp. I will link to his social media in the description below. And basically we're just gonna try and cover all areas and really just almost hit this head on and make sure that I'm leaving no stone unturned because it's given me motivation now that I know I can perform with this issue so like, what can I do without the issue? Like, what, what are the results gonna be like? What's the bike power gonna be like? What's the pace gonna be like? How comfortable am I gonna feel? Like, what am I gonna run like off the bike? Like, all these things are like super exciting, but I just need to go in and just make sure that I'm, I'm doing everything correctly. So yeah, saw him this morning, that was really good. And looking forward to, to working with him. And hopefully over the next couple of months, we can kind of make sense of this because it's been a bit of a, an emotional roller coaster. I've got to be honest. Um, I've gone through some stages of some quite like serious like down moments because no one's been able to make sense of this issue. And some people have even said like, oh, maybe it's all in your head. And when I know like I'm experiencing really bad pain and someone tells me it's all in my head, like that just, that's just rubbish. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. And you know, I've had, yeah, definitely had some down moments um, and you know, I almost want someone to just tell me this is the problem and this is what you do to sort it. Because if someone did that, then I'd be able to sort it straight away. But it's the reason why it's a reoccurring issue is because no one's been able to make sense of it. People have been sending me down, like I've said, some weird rabbit holes that I have no idea what I'm doing. And I've, you know, been testing different things and it hasn't quite worked. And it's just led me to be really frustrated. So I ended up not really doing much. Now I've got the motivation back because I've seen some really good results with this issue. Now I'm fired up to see what I can do without the issue. And with the help of Stephen Haynes, he's kind of almost made sense. And he's kind of, he's kind of in my head, he seems like the right guy for the job because he explains it so well to me and he makes me realize what the issue is and what I need to do. And, and that means that, that, that adds to the motivation, that adds to the fire, and that adds to me wanting to get back to full potential, basically. So yeah, that's that's the kind of, almost like <laughs> started this video on a massive high, 10,000 subscribers, now we've gone downhill. Um, but you know, it's, I wanna be totally honest with you, that's the, the thing with this channel, it's being totally transparent and you know, letting you guys know what I'm going through. Um, and hopefully we can we can resolve this issue swiftly. Um, and I think with the help of Stephen, um, should should really be able to move quite quickly through this. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's it's all part of the process. Um, and just looking forward to to kind of getting back on track. Really, Outlaw Nottingham, like I can't express. Even though the day didn't go necessarily all to plan, I ended up dropping a bottle on the bike having stomach cramps on the run, you know, overpacing the bike, overpacing the run. Like, yeah, it didn't go to plan, but it was so good to be back racing and to then have a result that was decent when I don't feel, I don't actually feel like I was at full potential there at all. To have, to, to be so close to the podium, like so promising. So for me, like the motivation is so high to make sure that I get this back on track because um, 
like I've said, you know, like I, I don't want to have that what if on my head constantly. So yes, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of energy. It's probably going to be quite expensive as well. Unfortunately, as with all of these things, you know, physio treatment, uh, the insoles that I'll have to have, uh, stuff like that, it all costs a hell of a lot of money. And I think that's also something that's been like kind of uh, a factor in the fact that I, ha- I just haven't got uh, got around to sorting it. But now there is no excuse because, um, you know, otherwise, when am I going to do it? So, yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of money. But um, but in the long run, it's going to be so beneficial. And so that's where I'm at with everything. Just a little update for everyone. Again, I just want to say thanks so much to everyone who's been supporting the channel, everyone who came up to me last weekend to say hi, everyone who's been congratulating me for the 10k subs. I appreciate it so much. So anyone racing Holcomb, I'm pretty sure Dan is releasing a video today of a route recce that he did at Holcomb a couple of days ago. I didn't end up going because it's just a hell of a drive. Um, but he's done a route recce. He's going to put some like, kind of like route tips in that video. So I think that'll be really it's well worth a watch. Um, obviously you'll be supporting Dan, which is not great because he's a terrible YouTuber. Um, <laughs> I love you, Dan. Uh, I don't know if anyone thinks that knows this is banter. This is banter. We do kind of like each other. Mm. He's tolerable. <laughs> But yeah, if you are doing Holcomb, I would definitely recommend going watching that video. If he's released it by now, I will link it in the description below. If he hasn't released it, then I'll just link to his channel and you can go and find it later on. Um, if you're not doing Holcomb, then please don't go and watch the video because you'll end up giving him loads of views and we don't want him catching up with me. <laughs> I'm joking. Go and watch the video and I'll see you in the next video.